Hello, I'm Jillian from Beer Cave Brewing in John Tony Hopkins, Minnesota. I'm going to show you how I pour a beer. Come along. I'm going to just put my card here, wait till it turns green, and I'm going to pour a beer. Now, a self serve tap system like this gives me all of the control, and I'm a really busy, busy, busy person, so I need to have a lot of control in my schedule. In fact, one of the things that helps me with my schedule on a, a general basis is using executive transportation. Whenever I go somewhere or need to be somewhere and be in a reliable fashion, they're the ones I go to. Executive transportation is always there. They pick me up, they drop me off, they get me there safely and in a very comfortable ride. So cheers to executive transportation. When a guest comes for the first time, uh, they are wowed as soon as they walk in. They often say that they didn't expect this brewery to be so nice. It's also important to note that you can have a different experience each time you come to Bear Cave because of the rotating of taps and also because there are so many different spaces. We're right down the stairs in the, kind of we call it the speakeasy or the Bear Cave, but this is the lower level. There is a main level, there's an upper level beer hall, and then there's a conservatory, a half a level up, which goes out into a rooftop deck. And of course we have the main level patio. It's important to appeal to everyone when you have a brew pub. And the wonderful thing about our um, establishment here is that we have self-serve tap systems. Now there are 52 taps, and many of them are beers, but we also have other offerings such as wine, and craft cocktails, we have CBD seltzers, and um, sometimes we have ciders. So there is a, a rotating number of beers, but mostly we focus on everything being brewed in-house. So when we decided to build a brewery, we thought, well, most breweries nearby do not have food options or very limited food options. So we wanted a kitchen, yet the space didn't allow us to have a big kitchen. So we do have a pizza kitchen, which is um, outfitted with a Marafoni pizza oven. So it's a scratch kitchen with a fantastic chef who rotates a lot of different menu items from pizza over to non-pizzas and then some other specialty desserts. Families are really important. And uh, especially over the past few years, we found that families started uh, spending a lot more time together. So one of the things that we have done at Bear Cave is put together finishes and furnishings that feel almost like your home if you could just kind of cozy into a banquette and have uh, your uh, a self-serve tap system and then also you can do your ordering here so it just makes it easy for everyone to be a guest here and enjoy their time the kids they love to come down to see the bear and they'll walk down as many times as possible and then go back up for their parents and come back down and see the bear again. So we felt that that was a fun part of Bear Cave. And in some of the months, what we do is have one of our staff members in an actual bear costume. <laughs> and uh, the bear can come and say hello to the kids. We're also really dog friendly. We have wonderful outdoor patio spaces. There's a main level and then there's a rooftop patio, and dogs are always welcome there. Uh, they're greeted with a little mat to lay on, uh, water, we have a dog menu, which includes um, both food and a special, uh, what they call tail chaser, which was created by one of our neighbors right down here on Main Street. Community is really important to us here at Bear Cave Brewing. Because we're on an historic uh, Main Street, we have a lot of foot traffic all day long and lots of people walking their dogs and so forth. But one of the reasons that we selected Hopkins for our Bear Cave Brewing is that they have so many um, festivals and events throughout the year that are all very family oriented. And we thought that was really important. Um, upcoming this summer is Main Street Days. There's also the Raspberry Festival and a number of other events that are all along Main Street. So we were very excited when we knew that we could be part of a community that was so close and uh, had such great and diverse representation.